in this video i will discuss realization of multiple output functions using decoder so here i will discuss how to implement sop functions and how to implement pos functions when we consider the decoder with active i outputs similarly here i will also explain how to implement sop functions and pos functions when we consider the decoder which is having active low outputs now first i will start with for active high output decoders where how to implement the sop functions so let me take for active high output decoder sop function implementation let me explain this one simple example or function let me take f equal to summation m 1 3 5 7 so here we can observe that this summation m indicates the min terms or the product terms so here let me take a b c are the variables and i will assume a as msb and c as lsb bit so with that i can represent in variable form as f is equal to 1 is nothing but 0 0 1 so in terms of variable i can represent it as a bar b bar c plus 3 is nothing but 0 1 1 that is 1 is this one 3 is 0 1 1 0 1 1 can be represented as a bar b c wherever there is a zero take complement of that if there is one we have to take direct variable plus 5 5 is represented as 1 0 1 that is a b bar c this is a b bar c and another min term is 7 which is nothing but 1 1 1 1 so that can be represented as a b c so this is one min term 1 3 5 7 is nothing but the representation of same thing in sop form so we'll try to implement this using a decoder which has got active high outputs so so let me consider the 3 3 is to 8 decoder as we know here the function is having the highest min term is 7 so we need 3 to 8 decoder so let me consider 3 to 8 decoder so these are the variables here the input is a b c just draw the block diagram like this i will consider active low enable input so here we can see that all outputs are active high outputs here active high outputs so as we know in 3 to 3 is to 8 active high output so as we know in 3 is to 8 decoder if the outputs are active high then for why not the output variable is a bar b bar c bar and for one we know that it is 0 0 1 that is a bar b bar c and on this line we have y2 that is 0 1 0 that is a bar b c bar y3 is nothing but 0 1 1 that is a bar b c y4 is nothing but 1 0 0 that is a b bar c bar y5 is nothing but 1 0 1 that is a b bar c 6 is 1 1 0 that is a b c bar y7 is 1 1 1 that is a b c so these are the output lines on 3 is to 8 decoder where outputs are active high so here let me take a bar b bar c so a bar b bar c means y1 so that is nothing but 1 3 5 7 so as we know on first line third line fifth line and seventh line we have the same variable that is a bar b bar c a bar b c a b bar c a b c so while implementing using decoder we have to consider these output lines and we have to add them to add them we need one or gate so let me consider one or gate so here i need one or gate to add all the product terms because 3 to 3 is to 8 decoder with active high output always produce min terms or product terms so this is the or gate here the function is f so here the min terms are 1 3 5 7 so here we have one connect output of this to or gate we have 3 1 3 we have 5 that is 5 and it is 7 
this is 7. So also we can verify that 1 is nothing but a bar b bar c a bar b c a b bar c a b c. So we have we have connected to same lines that is nothing but y1 y3 y5 y7 these all are connected to or gate. So this is or gate. So here one thing we should remember that if we are implementing the mean term using 3 is to 8 decoder which is having high output then we must use OR gate. So this is how we can implement the given mean terms mean term function using decoder. So now let me consider for active high output decoder pause function implementation. Here also I will consider one example let f is equal to so for pause function the notation used is pi capital M here I will use say 1 I will use 1 2 3 7. So as we know pi M indicates the max term so this can be represented in product of some form as f is equal to we have 1 is nothing but 0 0 1 so in pause it can be represented as in max term it can be represented as this is let me consider the variable a b c so i will assume a as msb and c as lsb so this one can be represented as it is a plus b plus c bar so in max term 0 if there is a 0 we have to consider direct variable if it is 1 we have to take complement and it gives the sum term as in previous case we got the product term here the max term gives the sum term like this so this is one sum term then we have 2 2 is nothing but 0 1 0 this can be represented as a b bar and this is c that is we have a plus b bar plus c likewise 3 is nothing but 0 1 1 it can be represented as a plus b bar plus c bar and 7 as 1 1 1 which is nothing but a bar plus b bar plus c bar so this is nothing but product of sum that is p o s now we'll see how to implement this POS function using the decoder which is having active high outputs. Now let's see how to implement this POS function using the decoder which has active high outputs. So already we have taken this active high output decoder and we know that in active high outputs we will get the mean terms. So here we have mean terms but in expression we have max terms. Now I'll tell you how to convert or how to implement this POS function using the output active high output decoder where we get only min terms or product terms. So here also we have to consider only 1, 2, 3, 7 output lines, same output lines 1, 2, 3, 7 that is 1, 2, 3 and 7. So here instead of using OR gate we have to use NOR gate. So let me use NOR gate here. In previous case we have used or get here we su supposed to use nor get that is so consider the same max terms that is 1 2 3 7 connect 1 2 3 7 that is this is 1 we have 2 we have 3 and we have 7 so here this is the output so now we'll verify whether the it will produce the same result or not because here all the outputs are min terms or product terms and we are trying to convert this product terms into max terms. So we are supposed to use NOR gate. So now let me verify the output. So here f is equal to here we have all min terms. So we have to write first we have to write the expression in a SOP form then we have to take the complement. So here let me check whether the output is correct or not that is we have f is equal to the input to the NOR gate is 1 is 1 max term is 1 that is a bar b bar c that is we have a bar b bar c plus so here we have a bar b c bar 
a bar b c bar plus here we have a bar bc which is 3 that is a bar bc then we have finally a b c so as we know here we have not get here it's a nor get so the output is complement of this entire thing now by applying de morgan's theorem here i can write f equal to a bar b bar c whole bar dot a bar b c bar whole bar dot a bar b c whole bar we have dot a b c whole bar so now again i will apply de morgan's theorem here it is equal to a bar bar plus b bar bar plus c c bar here we have a complement again complement plus b bar plus c bar bar and here we have a bar bar plus p bar plus c bar then here we have a bar plus p bar plus c bar so this is nothing but f equal to a plus p plus c bar and here we have a plus b bar plus c complement of complement is normal variable that is a plus b bar plus c bar a bar plus b bar plus c bar here also we have same thing that is a plus b plus c bar is the first term so here we got a plus b plus c bar so second max term is a plus b bar plus c so here we have a plus b bar plus c then we have a plus b bar plus c bar a plus b bar plus c bar this is also correct finally we have a bar plus b bar plus c bar a bar plus b bar plus c bar so even with by using active high output we can implement pause functions so now here we should remember is so while implementing pause functions using active high output we must use nor gate if you are implementing SOP, we should use OR gate. That is, for SOP, use OR gate. And for POS functions, use NOR gate. That is, use NOR gates. So, just for the given min terms or the max terms, the same line should be taken from the output of the decoder and connected to either OR gate or NOR gate depending on the implementation of SOP or POS. In my next video, I will explain how to implement SOP and POS using active low outputs. Thank you for watching.